This is Code.org. I'm currently working on Hour of Code Minecraft, and I'm doing their new course, which is Voyage Aquatic, Part 11. Build a wall of um, Prismarine. Build a wall of Prismarine around the block, around the black concrete. Black concrete. Oh, they must mean this obsidian, but we'll call it black concrete. This will activate the conduit. Ooh. And complete your challenge. Okay, where's the conduit? I don't know. Is that supposed to be it? It must be. Okay. And complete your challenge. All right, so we got to build this wall. So win run. Quick reminders, here are our blocks. This is the code. This is our workspace and the game area. I'm going to make this a bit bigger. I'm going to hit run to see if we have anything. Oh, nope, we don't. All right, so what do we got here? We need to build a wall. So I'm standing here, maybe move forward, move forward, turn, right. Oop, we got to make sure these are attached and place. Let's see how this does. Oh, oh, so, okay. So what we're standing on, that's good to know, is where we place it. All right. And do we want to build a wall? I think... Oh, around the black concrete. Okay. So we can move forward and place this. Great. Now we want to move forward three times and place it, right? Yep. So an easier way to do this, rather than saying repeat, 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 uh, or and writing it all, we should use repeat until conduit complete, or we can repeat until uh, using the time loop. I'm going to use this one. Okay. Repeat until conduit complete. Now I'm going to drop in my code. So what the computer will do when I hit run, it says repeat until you're done building this con, uh, until the conduit's powered up or whatever, activate it. So it will move forward once, twice, three times, place, uh, prismarine, and then it hits the bottom and goes back to the top and says, all right, are you done? Nope. Okay. Move forward again and then place move forward again and then place um, and I actually wanted three of these don't I and I can see already if I am placing all of this this is the exact same code move forward place move forward place move forward place so that's inefficient there must be a faster way I'm gonna get rid of that rather than repeating and maybe what is this if standing on ooh sand because we want to build it all the way around the black concrete or the obsidian, I guess. So if I'm standing on sand, let me use this and make sure it's in the loop. If standing on sand, which way would I want to turn? Ooh, this is tough. So I think I would want to go right. But this isn't going to be enough. I'm going to hit test just to kind of debug some. Okay. Okay. Yep. Great. <laughs> and we have a problem. We're building over it, not around it. All right. So what we're doing now is it's going to repeat. We're going to move forward, place Prismarine. If standing on sand, we turn right. But then we just go back to the top and keep repeating, move forward place, which is why we built right over. So we need more code in the if loop where, and it, I mean, in the if statement, this is where the computer says, if standing on sand, yes or no. If yes, it runs the code inside. If I'm not, it just skips down to the bottom, goes back, moves forward and places the prism green again, checks again, which is why we place it all the way up here. And then we turn only when we are standing on sand. Okay, but it looked like I wanted to turn right and then mm, move forward and then turn right again and then move forward. Right, move forward. 
Let's test this. I think we're going to need one more line still. Uh-oh. All right, so we have some problems here. Ooh, I have an idea. Let's move. We're going to put the if first. We're going to first check if we're standing on sand. Because if we're standing on sand, we don't need to place this. If standing on sand, we need to do this stuff. Let's see how this works. Nope. Hmm, this is tough. What other options do we have? Ooh, we have a sea lantern. That's even easier. All right, if on sea lantern, let's turn right and then move. Let's just turn right because then we can move forward and place that. And then it will loop. Oh, perfect. So actually, we now, we do want this up first. Let's try this. Yep, move forward. Nope, not on a sea lantern. This is looking good. Now it checks if on sea lantern. Maybe. But ah, uh, we made it. So I want to just show you real quick. Here's the code that worked for me. And the reason this works is we're going to repeat forever. We're going to move forward. Well, repeat until it's complete. We're going to move forward. We're going to place the prismarine. We're going to place a block. And then if we're on a sea lantern, up, oh, nope, we're not. So it says no. It skips this code. It hits the bottom, goes back. Oh, no, we're not done yet. Move forward. OK. Places. Yep. On sea lantern, nope. Back to the top. Move forward one more. Yep. Place. Yep. Still not on a sea lantern. And then finally, we would then be above the sea lantern. This is the fourth block. And what happens here is first, well, we would be here. And then so first we move forward and now we're above the sea lantern. Then it places the prismarine. And then it checks if we are standing on the sea lantern. If we checked first, it would then turn right right away, um, which it would technically work, but this way is efficient and we put the if at the bottom, especially if I left it how I did before with the move statement, that would throw a bug into our system if I had the if first. Um, this though is the code that I got, so awesome. Let's, uh, let's keep going.